Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to 30 CAGR YouTube channel. In this series, we are discussing about max drawdown, its effects, and some of the ways to reduce this max drawdown. In part one, we have discussed what exactly is max drawdown, or for that matter, what's the difference between drawdown and max drawdown, and what if we don't consider drawdowns for our trading purposes. In part two, we will discuss about the most important concept. Some of the ways to reduce these drawdowns and as i said earlier i divided this into two parts one is to reduce these drawdowns at a strategy level and then some of the ways to reduce this at a portfolio level especially the second one portfolio level drawdown reduction is very important in case if you want to trade for long term in stock markets and if you haven't watched part one, I'll put the link in the description. So please go ahead and watch part one and come back to this part two. My name is Raj and 30CAGR.com is my blog. In case you haven't visited my blog, please go and visit because this is the place where you get many resources like trading bots that actually help you make money in stock markets. And the best thing is most of the services here are absolutely for free of cost. All you have to do is just open an account using my referral ID. I have put the links in the description and you can avail most of these resources for free of cost. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe immediately and hit on bell icon so that you receive notifications about all my future videos instantly. A quick recap on what we have learned in part one. Drawdown is a reduction in capital from peak to trough. And we will compartmentalize all these individual drawdowns and then find the maximum of all these. That's what we call as maximum drawdown. To put it in a simple way, we take the peak, in this case 125,000, and then the trough, which is 75,000, and then we calculate maximum drawdown for this. And then we also have seen an important concept that the amount of capital that we lose is not equal to the amount of capital that we gain. If you lose 50%, for example, you need to gain 100% to again get back all your lost capital. So the takeaway from this is it's always better to cut down losses in the first place instead of recovering all the lost amount back. So these are the two things that we have learned in part one. Now we will discuss about some of the ways to reduce strategy level drawdowns and then we will move to portfolio level drawdowns as well. But before I start, I would like to tell you that drawdowns are directly proportional to profits, which means if drawdowns are less profits would also be less but if you are okay to have more drawdowns you can probably increase your profits as well so it's all about striking the right balance between drawdowns and profits especially when you are developing strategies you always encounter this situation whether you need more profits with more drawdowns or less profits with less drawdowns so i would say be wise in choosing what amount of drawdown and profits do you want okay so the first way to reduce strategy level drawdown is to have a stop loss in place if you do not have a stop loss then your stocks might bleed when markets move violently and so it's always recommended to have a stop loss in place and then the second and the most important is position sizing the size of your position decides what your drawdown is it's always recommended to have small positions so that the loss that you get will be less and the drawdowns will also be less if i have to translate this it is recommended to just have a risk around two percent of your capital but not more than that so in any position that you enter make sure that your risk is around two percent even if you look at our iss strategy generally our stop losses are 2% or less than 2%. Maybe one or two days you might see that drawdowns are above 2%, but that is absolutely fine. Because in ISS strategy, the premiums keep changing every day. So if the premiums are high, we might get a little over 2% loss. But as I said, it's absolutely fine because there are days when the premiums are very less and we get like 0.5 to 1% loss as well. And then the third is risk reward ratio. Ensure that your reward is more than risk so that your drawdowns always come down. And then the next is accuracy. 
if you have more accuracy in a strategy then the drawdowns obviously come down so ensure that you pick the best strategy which has more accuracy and have trailing stop loss uh, it is always advisable to have trailing stop losses and for that matter in iss strategy also we are shortly going to introduce this trialing stop loss feature so whoever is availing uh, this free bot from me they are going to have this trailing stop loss and the last is less volatile stocks if you pick less volatile stocks then the drawdowns will be obviously lesser because there wouldn't be wild swings in those stocks and if they don't have so much of volatility obviously the drawdowns will also be less all right now we have seen some of the ways using which we can reduce the drawdowns but the most important part of this video is how to reduce portfolio level drawdowns there are three ways to reduce portfolio level drawdowns first is capital allocation for each strategy let's say you invested 1 lakh in a strategy and you know that the amount of profits that you are going to get is 50% and the drawdowns for this strategy is around 40%. So these are the profits and this is the drawdown. Now let's say if you increase this capital to 2 lakhs then obviously the amount of profits that you get will also be halved, right? Instead of getting 50%, you will only be getting 25%. You are simply doubling the capital that you need for this strategy right so the profits would be half to 25 percent and at the same time drawdowns will also be half to 20 percent so the trade-off here is yes as i said initially profits are directly proportional to drawdowns which means your profits are down by 50 percent and your drawdowns are also down by 50 percent this is one classic way of reducing the drawdowns and let me tell you this is my favorite part of dealing with drawdowns because it is very easy right we are not doing anything except doubling our capital and that's exactly why i'm not worried about this peak margin rule that sebi has brought in of late many people started asking me that you know our profits will come down because these margins will shoot up post september 2021 yes that is true instead of one lakh that we need currently you have to deploy two lakhs per one pair of short straddle but what's incredible there is the drawdowns the current drawdowns which are around 20 percent will come down to just 10 percent so i'm absolutely okay with profits coming down from 100 to 120 percent to 50 or 60 percent because that's still a fantastic returns with just a drawdown of 10 percent and then the second and the most important is diversification diversifying your portfolio into number of strategies actually lower the drawdown and this is exactly why we trade in both iss and pdr i always ask my clients to invest their money into both iss and pdr if you have let's say two lakhs i always prefer allocating one lakh to iss and one lakh to pdr this is very 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 important while pdr gives you slow steady and consistent return over a period of time iss gives you higher returns year on year right so it is not only the profits that you need to focus on it is also important for you to focus on steady income and pdr does that for us though the returns here are only 30 percent to 50 percent this is slow steady and consistent as i said because in this strategy we are trading in short-term equity right so the chances of losing there is pretty slim whereas on the other hand in iss strategy we make huge huge returns and the drawdowns even in that case is decent enough around 20 percent so the best combination is to diversify your portfolio into two or more strategies one advantage of diversifying your portfolio into multiple strategies is let's say in one year you got a loss in iss strategy and you lost a capital of 20 percent and in that year let's say you gained 20 percent in pdr strategy now the overall drawdown 
of your portfolio here is zero right so when one strategy is in loss the other strategy might come at rescue and lower the max drawdown so it is always important to diversify your portfolio into multiple strategies even in my personal portfolio i divide my capital and invest 50 percent in iss strategy and 50 percent in pdr strategy okay and then the last is stop taking heavy margins i see that many clients avail these higher margins just to trade more more trades might actually hurt your portfolio because what happens is of course you might earn more profits when you trade more but at the same time you might also lose more which means your drawdowns will be higher and if your drawdowns are higher it is not healthy for your portfolio if not today maybe after one month or after one year or after five years you are going to face a huge drawdown so ensure that you don't take heavy margins all right this brings us to the end of this short video please remember that drawdowns can really hurt your portfolio if not taken care properly so ensure that you pay at most attention to your drawdowns and as i always say it is okay to have lesser profits but ensure that your drawdowns are absolutely minimum given a choice between strategy one where i get 100 percent profits with 40 percent drawdown and strategy two wherein i get 50 percent return with just 10 percent drawdown i always choose the second one at any given point in time i only lose 10 percent of my capital right even if i make 50 percent that is absolutely fine but the amount of maximum loss that i see at any given point in time in my portfolio is not more than 10 percent so there would absolutely be no stress with this strategy so some key takeaways from this video are first is it's not just the profits that you need to focus on you also need to focus on the drawdowns and then the second is diversification ensure that you always diversify your capital into multiple strategies don't focus on one strategy don't put all your eggs in one basket multiple strategies can immensely bring down the drawdown okay lastly please join my telegram channel and twitter because i keep giving regular calls and new strategies into that sometimes i also write articles on quora and other sites Whenever I write an interesting article, I immediately send that to all my subscribers through Telegram and Twitter. So please ensure that you follow me in both these channels. And for trading bot, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number. Talking about trading bots or for that matter, other resources that are available on my blog, you will have incredible access to all these powerful tools and resources just by opening a trading account using my referral ID. You can open an account and get access to all these powerful resources like trading bots which otherwise would cost you around 25 to 30 thousand per year i'll put the links in the description you can open an account make use of all these resources and save approximately 30 thousand every year and i'm also available on other social handles as you can see on facebook linkedin insta and quora as well so you can connect with me on any of these social handles as well and once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit on bell icon. Thank you and see you in the next video.